Today we're celebrating a landmark moment in the history of comic books, the release of Action Comics 1000. It's a milestone 80 years in the making, so get ready for DC All Access. I'm Whitney Moore. And I'm Tiffany Smith. And the Trunks are officially back. And we've got a rundown of all the DC news you need to know. First up, we've got a look at the best comics out this week. DC's latest dynamic duo is heading into dire straits in the Brave and the Bold, Batman and Wonder Woman. Bruce has followed Diana into a mystical realm called Tir Nanog to track down a god killer. But the Dark Knight is out of his depth in this strange new world, and as the pair closes in on answers, they find their own lives in danger. Check out Batman and Wonder Woman's journey through Irish mythology in issue number three starting today. After sweeping aside the Suicide Squad and overpowering Wonder Woman's lasso of truth, Ethan Avery now faces the power of the green in damage. Poison Ivy unleashes an attack on a group of field workers, forcing Ethan to risk his own sanity and transform into damage to save them. Meanwhile, the government is desperate to capture Ethan before he learns the dark truth about what damage is. Grab a front row seat for Damage versus Mother Nature in issue number four this week. Scott Free just welcomed a baby boy, but paternity leave will have to wait because war is still raging on Apocalypse in Mr. Miracle. Scott's attention is split between his family back on Earth and the battle on Apocalypse, and Darkseid's evil army is poised to capitalize on Mr. Miracle's lack of focus. Plus, in the back of his mind, Scott is still questioning whether any of this is real. Mr. Miracle is one of the most engaging and unpredictable mysteries that DC is publishing right now, so pick up issue number eight today. You can venture deep into the belly of a cult in the latest issue of Vertigo's Deathbed. Legendary adventurer Antonio Luna is dragging biographer Val Richards on an insane journey to share his life story with her. And the newest chapter stars a religious sect that thinks Antonio is their god. Deathbed is a non-stop ride with a new twist at every page turn. So follow the making of a charismatic cult leader in issue number three this week. Kate Kane's world is crashing down around her in a new installment of Batwoman. The terrorist organization called the Many Arms of Death invades Gotham and targets any and everything Batwoman holds dear. But what's most shocking is that Kate's long-lost sister Alice is leading the charge. Is Batwoman more loyal to her family or to Gotham City? Find out in issue 14 starting today. Well, that is a preview of some of this week's releases, and here is a complete rundown of the new DC books on shelves today. Now we've got some updates from across the multiverse. In video game news, DC Universe Online has a new event and episode called Deluge, which unites DC's heroes and villains to stop an invasion by Starro. Plus, the event features new bosses as well as new gear inspired by Mira. The latest box from the World's Finest Collection is packed with Justice League gear, like a reversible flash track jacket, a USB cable that looks like the lasso of truth, and an exclusive cyborg vinyl figure. Head over to worldsfinestcollection.com to sign up for your own box. Meanwhile, our friends at Mad Magazine are celebrating the release of a new issue number one with a live game stream this Friday. Tune in to catch special guests like comedian Steve Agee and more at 4 p.m. Pacific time at twitch.tv slash madmagazine. And finally, DC is releasing a special hardcover called Action Comics 1000 80 Years of Superman, which includes the Man of Steel's greatest hits of all time, as well as a never-before-published story from the 1940s. It's a banner week for Superman, so keep an eye out on DC's social media and the DC Fans channel so you don't miss out on the historic celebration. That's the news for now, but we'll be back with more after this Panel of the Week break. Almost 80 years of Superman have led us to the release of Action Comics 1000, an 80-page giant that includes all new stories and stunning artwork from the biggest stars in comics. We caught up with some of the A-list creators for more details on the once-in-a-century collection. 
When this conversation started to happen about me coming to DC and maybe taking over Superman, two crazy things happened. Number one, I went back to Cleveland for my brother's wedding. One of my closest friends actually was putting on a Superman uh, exhibit in the downtown Cleveland Public Library. I didn't know it was there and I walked in and I'm thinking about DC and Superman and making big changes in my life and I walked through this uh, exhibit as if it was put on for me and uh, was overwhelmed with how much it, it, it means to me and how much Superman means and called my wife and we called DC and we said, yeah, I, I think we're in. And then Dan said, well, I don't want to get too greedy because I know we're, we're early goings, but you know, Action Comics 1000 is right around the corner and boy, it would be great to have you in there. So uh, Jim Lee and I uh, have been teamed up to be in Action Comics 1000 and I could not be happier. Such a thrilling experience. I've seen the stories by so many of the people involved in this issue and what they have planned, the kind of prismatic look at Superman is so inspiring. And to be part of a murderer's row of talent, it just it's always something I'm very grateful to DC for just letting me be a part of. It's humbling. Working on Action Comics 1000 is an honor. It's an honor to have been here. It's, it was nice to be able to do the run up to it and build that. But it's also really amazing to be included in a group of creators as great as we have on this book. Well, I am the finisher over Dan Jurgens. When he called, I was floored. And because uh, I really have ri written it off, I'm like, okay, it's not going to happen. But when he called, I'm like, oh my gosh, this has got to be the best work of my career. The difference between my story and the other stories in Action Comics 1000 is mine is actually part of a big. Superman event that's coming the next week right afterwards. It's been a very long time since a brand new threat to Superman's existence has uh, been put forth and in the very first chapter we find out that this villain says that he is the person that destroyed Krypton and that he is here on Earth because he is here to cleanse the Kryptonian race from the galaxy and he's here to finish the job and what this villain will bring into Superman's life is going to be a lot of stuff that I think a lot of people are going to be able to relate to. DC found four pages of artwork drawn by Kurt Swan, who's absolutely legendary Superman artist. I had a thrill of being able to work with him for about a year or two on Superman. And Dan DiDio, the publisher, asked me to turn that into a story, ignore what was there, and make it into a full story with a beginning, middle, and end. Make it a Superman story because Superman wasn't in it. It was a great challenge, and I love that sort of thing. I did a story where essentially uh, Lex Luthor goes back to a, the planetarium in Smallville because it's been hurt by a tornado. And he's there, and he's sort of looking at it, and Superman shows up, and he's like, why are you here, Lex? I know you're planning some way of killing me. And Lex is like, maybe I'm just here to stargaze, and that's it. And it winds up opening the door to this kind of childhood moment that they had together that they don't realize they had together, that to me hopefully captures the essence of why Superman is such an inspirational character and so great. Well, for Action Comics 1000, what we came up with was uh, the idea that Metropolis has benefited so much by everything Superman has done over the years that Metropolis wants to say thank you. But how do you say thank you to Superman? You buy him a new car? Superman always has represented hope. And, you know, even Mark Wade kind of landed at even harder in Superman Birthright, making the symbol actually the Kryptonian representation of hope. Like, that's what the character represents. I can't help but feel in this day and age that we need Superman more than we've ever needed Superman, uh, fictitiously and in real life. We need a Superman, and here he comes. Superman is about no matter what the public thinks, no matter what sort of uh, the, the rest of the world believes, you do the thing you think is right, and that's it. Superman has been here for 80 years. He's very much, I think, the cornerstone of our entire industry because he was the first, and I still say the foremost, of them all in terms of characters and heroes. And I think Action Comics 1000 becomes a perfect symbol of that. For a comic book fan, the idea that a book can go a thousand issues and can go 80 years is just amazing. It's validation that what we love, other people and many other people love as well. I'm a little Jewish boy from Cleveland and when you are a little Jewish boy from Cleveland, everyone tells you, you know who created Superman, two little Jewish boys just like you, 
So it, it's been part of my DNA since literally I, I, I could understand people. Before we go, we've got the world's finest Justice League box, plus a new DC Designer Series Batman statue from DC Collectibles, and we are giving them away to one of you. For your chance to win, visit dccomics.com slash watch and win and fill out the form with your information. It is so easy, even your cousin who repeated first grade three times could do it. Good luck and we'll see you tomorrow. That was totally me.